Picture this. You have a really great tech startup idea or you want to build a SaaS product or a mobile app. But the problem is you don't know how to code and you don't have a technical co-founder. Now, how cool will it be if you could create production ready, full fledged, full stack mobile apps and web apps just by prompting, like typing all the features you want in plain English and with the press of a button, the AI writes the code for you, build it out and you can even deploy the same in just a single click. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So in this video, I'll show you how we can create full stack mobile apps and web apps using a platform called as rocket.new. So all you got to do is to type all the features you want in plain English and with the press of a button, the AI will build it out for you. So let me quickly show you it in action. So this right here is rocket.new and this is the AI coding platform that I've been talking about. So the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and you will land on this page right here. And first of all, go ahead and sign up for a new account. So rocket.new is basically a AI coding platform that allows you to build production ready full stack mobile apps and web apps just by prompting. So towards the homepage itself, you can find an input box and now all you gotta do is to explain what exactly you want to build. Like all the pages you want, all the core features you want, you just explain all about your product and with the press of a button, the AI goes ahead and starts coding the same. And now the cool part about rocket.new is the fact that it allows you to build both mobile apps and web apps. And I have already created a video explaining how we can create a mobile app using the platform. And if you want to watch that, make sure to click the I button above. And not just that, if you click on this templates option towards the top right, you'll be able to find a bunch of templates in here. For example, we have landing page, web app, brand website, internal tool web, then we have mobile apps, dashboard and all that. For example, let's say you want to build a landing page for your company. So you could browse this template section and find a template. For example, let's say this one right here. I can click on this learn more button and find a preview of the template towards the right side and I can find more details. And if you feel like this is something similar to what you want to build, you can click on this use this template option and potentially save a lot of tokens and you can start building on top of this one. Similarly, you can go ahead and browse all these web apps in here like accounting, CRM. For example, let's say you want to build a CRM, you could start using this one right here, brand website and even mobile apps. Okay, so in this case, we're actually planning to start it from scratch. And if you click on this option right here called as built with rocket, you'll be able to find apps that other people have created on this platform. For example, we have interview tracker pro, we have fantasy hockey, we have Okay, all these apps in here. So if you want to, you can go ahead and find inspirations as well. And now Rockets allows you to build web apps and mobile apps in multiple frameworks, including Flutter, HTML, Next.js and React. So if you want to basically create, let's say a mobile app, you'll be using Flutter. And if you want to, let's say, create a web app, you'll be using HTML, Next.js or React. And the cool thing about Rocket is that it has got integrations with a lot of third party tools out there. For example, you can integrate GitHub, Superbase, Figma, Netlify, Stripe, OpenAI. We have our Perplexity, Gemini, Google Analytics, Recent and all that. You can just integrate all of that in just a single click. So you enable the integration, copy paste your API key and that should be it. And not just that, you can also attach images for reference for the AI to design your project and also import Figma as well. And today in this video, I want to build a job board. So basically this writer is the prompt I'll give. So it says create a fully functional job board website with multi-user functionality. Employers should have a dedicated dashboard where they can post job listings, edit or delete their post and view application received for each listing. Job seekers should have a separate interface to browse and filter job listings by category, locations or keywords and view full job descriptions and apply for jobs using a simple form or by uploading the resume. Include user authentication, profile management and role based access to ensure each user can only access features relevant to their role. During sign up, user should be given the option to register as an employer or a job seeker and upon login, they should be redirected to an appropriate dashboard based on their selected role. So this right here is the initial prompt I'll give. So basically I want to create a job board website with role based access. So it means that users or let's say job seekers will have a different view and employers or people who want to post a job will have a different view. And again, we will also make it a full stack project by incorporating Superbase as well by using the integration that rocket.new already has. So this right here is the initial prompt and I'll click on the send button right here. And now it says, I'll help you build a comprehensive job board website with multi-user functionality. Okay, robust platform. So I'll begin with our default framework. You can customize the framework if you want. So initially it is planning to create a project based on HTML and Tailwind CSS. But in our case, we actually want to build a React based project. So I can click on this option called as customize framework. Okay, let's see. I'll select React and then click confirm. So basically we want to create a job board website based on react with 
role based access okay so let's wait all right so it is now asking us to select the screen you wish to build from the list below and token consumption is directly related to the number of screens generated so definitely i want home page job seeker dashboard employer dashboard job search and discovery company profiles yeah then we have application management profile builder career resource hub maybe not success stories or maybe let's say i'll keep career resources hub so basically all you got to do is to select all the screens or different sections of the website or the project that you want to create just tick them and if you want to add any more you can actually go ahead and build it later or ask the ai to include in this uh, iteration itself as well in this case these are all the pages that i want and i'll go ahead and click on this option called as build my website and now it says eight screens selected all right so there you go it says i'm generating screens for your app and it says i'll take 10 to 25 minutes to build as per your request i built well researched well designed well written and function solutions each time so it will take about 10 minutes for the ai to create the initial version of the website with all the screens that we asked for so what i'll do is i'll wait till it is done and i'll see you afterwards so there you go the initial version of our website is ready and this is how it looks for now but the thing is now it says i need following information to integrate superbase and create a secure connection between your app and your superbase project so we want to add real authentication and a database to this app so for that you need to head over to superbase.com and don't worry they have a generous free plan that will be more than enough for you first thing first head over to superbase.com and sign up for a new account and first of all after you create an account you'll be prompted to create an organization and after that you need to click on this option called as new project and give it a name so i'll mention the project name as job i'll enter a database password select the region and i'll click on create new project button right here okay so our project is created and everything is there and next up i can head back to rocket.new and right now it asks me to select my superbase project and if i click on this drop down menu right here I'll be able to find all the projects that I have in my Superbase account. And as you can see here, we have the newly created job Superbase project. So I'll click the same. And now if this is your first time, you'll be prompted to connect to your Superbase account. So you can find a connect button or you can head over to, let's say, project settings, integrations, and it will be, you can go ahead and connect your Superbase account from here. So a authorization pop-up will appear. So just go ahead and allow the permission and you should be pretty much sorted. If you want to, you can also create a new Superbase project using this button right here. And now I have selected the Superbase project and I'll click on the save button. So Rocket will now go ahead and connect our project to Superbase to implement the database authentication and all that. And let's wait for it to complete first. And as I can see here, we also have an error which we will fix later. First of all, let's wait for it to complete. And now it says your project schema is ready to push to Superbase. So if you want to view that, you can click on that one. And it's actually a really long one. And now all you're going to do is to click on this option called as push to Superbase. So I'll click on the same. We can close this one and now rocket will go ahead and create all these tables rls policies indexes and everything else in our superbase project so it says the migration is complete and now if i head back and if i head over to let's say a table editor there you go here we have all the tables created for us including company profiles job applications job listing and rocket has even populated it with some dummy data as well okay so this is the current state of our application. So it says the database migration to Superbase is now complete. And this is how our application looks for now. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and let's say sign up as an employer. So you have two options that is sign in and sign up. So let me click on sign up. And before that, maybe I can head back to Superbase and I'll click on authentication and go to sign in providers and select email and make sure to disable this option called as confirm email. Otherwise, we'll have to confirm email every time we create a new account. So that's done. I can head back and let me try to create a new account. So in this case, I'll just, let's see, astro at astro.com. Let's say I am an employer. Okay, it seems like we have some error in here. Okay, so it says uh, cannot destructure property. So we'll click on this fix it option. So this is yet another feature of Rocket. So as you develop an application, you will definitely run into some errors and every time the AI detects an error, it will show a pop up something like this. And all you got to do is to click on this fix button and the AI itself will analyze the error code and fix the project for you. So all you got to do is to sit back and wait. So it says I'm generating code for your app. So let's wait till it is done. Let's try to create an account again. Astro at astro.com. I'll select as employer, put some dummy password and click on create account 
all right so it says i'm now uh logged in and as you can see it says astro k joseph and i can also find a tag called employer in here and now if i head back to superbase and go to the users table i should hopefully find the newly created user in here so there you go astro at the rate astro.com which is the one that we created now so only because we disabled the confirm email option we were able to create an account using dummy email so if you enable that option only if the user completes the verification like a link will be sent to their email and only after that they click on that link their account will be accessible so in this case right now we are logged in and if i click on this dashboard option right now it takes me to the employer dashboard okay so that's the interesting part so i have the option to create let's say post a new job so i'll click on the same i'll just try to let's say select few options now okay right now it all works so let's put ui designer let's say dubai minimum salary let's put it as let's say fifty-five thousand or 5.5 lakh whatever that is mm, a million maybe okay example description requirements uh, i'll leave it as it is let's say js html and css insurance some random content i'll click on this create job posting button and it says new row violates row level security policy for table postings okay so i'll go ahead and say when i try to create a new job posting it shows i am logged in as a employer okay i'll hit enter and let's wait for it so it is asking us to push a script to superbase so i'll click on this option called as push to superbase and no rocket will make all the changes that we need so it's done and let's wait for it so after a bit of back and forth here we have the working version ready and right now i'm logged in as our employer as you can see in here and now i get an option to post a new job so i'll click on this option right here and now maybe i'll go ahead and let's see put some dummy details in here senior ui designer let's put it as new york full time with time active let's put 5000 10000 sample description okay for now i'll keep all that as it is and i'll click on this create job posting option and as you can see the newly created job listing can be found in here and if i click on this view details button i can find all the details like the required skills benefits uh all that information are in here right and next step what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and let's say open the site in a new tab okay and this time around i'll actually go ahead and sign up as a job seeker so that you can actually view how the dashboard of the job seeker will look like so i'll click on sign up and i'll put the name as let's say james james at the rate james.com i am a job seeker and then the password and i'll click on this create account option okay right now i'm logged in and now if i click on this dashboard option right here as you can see the ui is completely different so this right here is the employer dashboard as you can see it says employer dashboard and this right here is the job seeker dashboard and now if i go to this job section right here i'm able to find all these jobs that are posted in here for example if i want to apply for the senior full stack developer option i can click on this view details option and find all this information in here and now in the dashboard as well i can find the jobs in the recommended job section so for example let's say i want to apply for this job that i posted just now that is senior ui designer so i can click on this apply now options click on apply for this position okay so i'll put some dummy content in here and click on submit application and there you go in the your application section i can find the newly added application and it says your application is under review and now if i head back to the employer dashboard there you go here we can find the recent application so james the cover letter all these details and now i can mark it as pending reviewed sh or shortlisted rejected or anything and i can add a note in here as well for example let's put you are selected and i selected the hired option right here and as you can see the same is reflected in here and now if i head back to the job seeker dashboard there you go it says congratulations you have been hired and i can also find a tag called hired and now if i click on this jobs option right here i'll be able to find all the jobs from this job seeker dashboard and if i go to the company section i can find all the company related information in here okay this is actually really great wow the ui is actually really great to be honest 
they have a team section all these reviews our story socials locations and all that and if i go to the candidate section right here i'll be able to find similar candidates and companies if they want to they can actually browse and find candidates and hire them so we have options for that and if i go to the resources section right here it says resources and career center and here we have a blog and information center kind of a page as well okay so that also looks good so depending on the user role we have a separate view for employers and job seekers and that itself is the biggest you know feature that i wanted to implement and it's pretty much working and next up if you want to let's say add even more features like uploading the resume or ai integrations or anything as such you can simply head over to rocket and input the prompt in here and hit enter and take it that way and now if i click on this option called as code i'll be able to find the code for this project right here so it will open up a VS code kind of interface and I can go through all these codes and if I want to I can make manual changes and save it as well but in this case I don't want to do that and next up if you want to let's say integrate your app with third party services you can click on the settings option right here and click on the option called as integrations and right now we are connected with Superbase but if you want to let's say add email setting functionalities to your app you can connect with recent or if you want let's say add payments using stripe you can click on this option right here and configure stripe then you can configure google analytics adsense perplexity anthropic gemini open ai now the cool thing is that all you gotta do is to click on this option grab your api key input that in here click on the save button and that way you can integrate pretty much any other third-party tools or services to your app in just a single click so you don't have to go through any complex you know coding phase or like you don't have to touch a single line of code so that is the biggest thing and now once you're ready with your app and if you feel like you want to publish the same you can click on this publish button towards the top right and you can click on this update button and now it will take a few seconds and it will give you a live url that you can share with anyone so this right here is the url and now if i share this url with anyone they'll be able to access our app so there you go james job seeker i can visit the dashboard i can sign out i can apply for a new job maybe this one right here apply for this position maybe put some details in here resume details submit application I can close this and there you go the newly applied job is in here as well and if you want to let's say add even more features you can actually go ahead and start building on top of this one so basically this is the flow of creating a full stack app using rocket.new you basically start with a master prompt with all the features that you want select this text tag that you want to use select all the screens that you want within your app and it the ai will go ahead and create the same and then you can connect with superbase to add authentication and database and after that if you want to make let's say any changes you can simply explain that in here and click on enter and now the ai will go ahead and code it for you and finally once done you can even publish the same in here as well next up if you want to let's say add any more features you can take it up from here and this right here is the whole flow of creating an app and the interesting part is that you can create both mobile apps for android and ios using flutter and also web apps using html next.js or react using rocket.new and yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So if you do want to build your next dream SaaS or let's say a website or mobile app or whatever that is, you can simply click on the first link in the description below, head over to rocket.new and then you can enter the prompt in here and start building your app. So that is pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.